Previously on the vlog. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Hello and welcome back to the vlog. It's episode 17. Um, over the last two years, yeah, I think about two years, the habit, the North American and uh, British habit of coffee to go has really taken off here. And although we've got COVID, um, I am so far away from anybody. Um, apart from the war heroes that you can see behind um, so that's why I've got my mask off just in case you're wondering but yeah coffee to go has been a big thing uh, and there's a new range of small coffee to go outlets that have just been launched in Banja Luka we caught one of them uh, posting images on Instagram so we said while we're in town we'll go and see it um, and I'll give you my feelings about how good or bad the coffee was uh, a little later on in the vlog so here we are episode 17 let's crack on Good morning, welcome back to the blog. And today it's another cold one. Can you? <laughs> I know that's very childish of me, but it is getting chilly here now. Um, we mentioned in a previous vlog, and you saw in the teaser to this one, that uh, we're building a fence downstairs on the property to make sure that the dogs don't get off and run away like they've done for years. Why? Because we've had a couple of packs of marauding dogs and recently Cooper came back with two bites on him and we love him to bits. We love all the animals to bits. So we're going to protect them as well. So we've started with uh, getting some wood in. Predrag's got some wood in. He started to paint it, uh, protect it. And now it gets on to the next stage. Um, he's found some old logs, turned them into posts. Uh, and yeah, got a friend from the village to come in and help and we started on getting the first part of the fence which is down by the gate um, ready for building
going back into Banja Luka. We need to go back. We need to go <laughs> back. The reason being is I want to try and take some shots of the Christmas lights. So we have to stay late today. I a don't bit. think we're going to be staying late. Look at the fog, David. I know. I'm driving back and I'm afraid. I know. Were you, <laughs> were you afraid to drink that nice coffee yesterday? Tell me about it, because I did. I did say. I did say that later in the vlog we'd give our our how do you say our points out of ten, our assessment. What did you think about it? Fabrica coffee from that sweet little place in the centre. It was very good. It reminded me of second cup coffee. I had uh, caramel latte. I love lattes, by the way. I had caramel latte, and it tasted just amazing. Second cup for people that don't know, you find in Canada. Second, yeah, second cup is like a Canadian Starbucks. Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. It's not a paid video. No, like, yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a Canadian Starbucks, and it's very very good. And you can also open a second cup when you need a franchise. Yeah. I was interested to open one. <laughs> you wanted to you wanted to bring second cup to to Bosnia. Yes. Uh, anyway, to go back to Fabrica, I thought they were really nice, I enjoyed the taste, I thought the service was alright, it was quick, it wasn't too long for the barista to make it, yes. um, and I, as I say, I don't think it was too pricey. What about you? Do you think it was pricey? Mm, maybe a little bit, but the quality of coffee definitely worth the price, because they have three different ranks of uh, coffees, they have the cheapest one and the most expensive one, So and they are all good, Arabica, stop on to Arabica, and they mix Arabica and Robusta. Now you wanted to buy some beans. Are you still going to do that? Yes, but after Christmas because I'm broke now. <laughs> <laughs> this coffee is like 30 marks, like 15 euros, one kilo. It's expensive for our standards. So we've had a good day out in Banja Luka. Um, we went and had a burger, which wasn't the best, was it? No, it was not the best burger. Either. No. We we know better places yeah, to um, have burger in Banja Luka. It's near the Venetian Bridge. We won't say anything more than that. Okay. And uh, the pancake was a bit iffy. Mm, I like the pancake. Uh, it was a little bit tough, overcooked, I think, but uh, it was uh, good. I liked the flavor. But nevertheless, it's been a chilly day here in Banja Luka. We've had some fun. You said that you like the fabric coffee. I love fabric coffee, yes. And we'll be going back there again. Yes, definitely. So if you like this vlog, please do the things that all the other YouTubers say, which is to share, like, subscribe, press the notification uh, button, and the comments mean a lot. Uh, we're going to go home now to the village, but we'll leave you with this short walk through uh, Banja Luka at night. Before Christmas. Before Christmas. And the lights aren't as much as they have been, but that's because no. of COVID, right? It could be, yeah. It could be definitely. that. Definitely. Okay, until the next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye.